Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Cardano Wallet JS Multisig. This was a proposal for Catalyst Font 6 developer ecosystem, and it was approved by the community. We received the fonts. We got paid 4,800 USD. And uh, we started in November, and then we finished it on January this year. The idea for the proposal was to add multi-seek capabilities to our open source JavaScript SDK. And why we thought that multi-seek was needed? Well, there are like several examples and use cases, very useful use cases for this feature. So that's why we made that proposal. For example, let's say you have 1000 ADA. In, and they're in your wallet address. And that address has the corresponding private key. That means that if I have the private key, then I can spend the thousand data. But that's a lot of power to put into just one string of letters and numbers. What if you lose it? What if it gets stolen from you? What if you get hacked? And basically, if that happens, all that money is gone. There's nobody to go and request. There's no entity uh, to make a complaint because this is one of the beauties of uh, decentralization and the beauties of the blockchain is that you are your own bank, but you need to be able to secure this private key if you don't want to lose access to your funds. So this led us to the question like, how do you increase security? Because you only have one key and you lose it then you lose access to your funds forever. And one of the solutions for this is multi-sig. Let's say I have a thousand ADA. And instead of having one single key that controls that thousand ADA, what I do is that I'm going to create a multi-sig address and I will split the control into three different keys. And I will set a rule that says you need at least two of these keys in order to move any of that thousand ADA. And then I don't keep this three keys together. The idea here is to split the key. So if you lose one, you can still get access to your fonts with the remaining two. Let's say I have created a wallet with three keys, but only two of them are mandatory to create the transaction. If I want to buy, for example, an NFT, I will sign with the first key, then I will sign with the second key. So that's two out of three signatures. And then the transaction goes through and I can have my NFT. You have to notice something interesting about it. What happens if I lose key number one? Well, I still can recover my money. I still can have access to it because I have the key number three. So with these two remaining keys, I can get access to my funds. And maybe I can create another multi-sig wallet and move it to that one. Another use case can be a joint custody. Let's say you are in charge of company funds, but this time, instead of having 1,000 ADA, you have 1 million ADA. That's a lot of responsibility for a single person with a single key. What can we do in that case? Well, we can split the responsibility by creating a wallet that requires multiple signatures to spend the funds. And then we can give a key to each one of the people responsible for the funds. And now we have 1 million ADA, but the control has been divided. They can't spend the funds individually because they only have one key. Let's say that when we created the wallet, we said that at least two keys were needed in order to sign a transaction. In this case, the first user has to sign and then the second user has to sign in order to be able to extract funds. If you want to start using our wallet, you can go to GitHub. This is the URL. Or also you can download it from NPM. As you can see, we have approximately 235 downloads per week. Uh, our GitHub repo has 56 stars and 19 forks. We have talked with several people in the community and they are using the SDK uh, in order to create their own products. And now it's time for a demo. So let's go to our repo. Then we're going to create a Node.js project. Let's call it multi-sig demo. And then we're going to do npm init. 
Enter, enter, enter. I'm not going to get fancy with this now. Now I'm going to install the SDK using npm install. Now it's installed. And then let's go back to the repo. And then if you go to the examples folder, you will see two examples. The two of two example creates a multi-sig address that requires the signature of all the keys in order to send a transaction. The two of three example creates a multi-sig address that requires the signature of two of the three keys in order to send a transaction. So let's try this one for this demo. I'm going to create the file generate address.js. I'm going to open in the editor. I'm going to paste the code. Here we just include the SDK and we define a script that will act as a guard to the phone sent to this address. The address is going to be controlled by three keys. With the parameters at least and require, we're saying that we only need two keys in order to be able to spend the funds in that address. So now let's run it. It will generate the native script, the three private keys and the address. Let's jump into CC Vault and send 10 ADA to that address. Let's give it some time to include the transaction in the blockchain. And in the meantime, let's jump back to the repo and copy the code to create and sign the transaction. Now let's replace the keys with the ones we generated previously, and let's do the same with the script. We can leave the TTL value to the way it is right now because there's plenty of time. The input is going to be the multi-sig address, and the output is going to be one of the addresses in CC Vault. So let's go to CC Vault and copy one of the addresses and put it in the output. The input address has 10 ADA, and I'm going to send one ADA to CC Vault, and I'm going to receive back 8.82 ADA, which is the difference minus the fee. In this case, I already calculated the fee, and it's going to be around 0.18 ADA. In the future, the library will calculate this fee for you, but for the time being, this is something that we need to do manually. Also, we need the UTXOs where the funds resides. And for that, we're going to use our own API, the Tango Crypto API. So let's go to our dashboard and let's copy the account and the API key. And let's go to Postman. Let's put it in Postman and then we can start doing the query. For the simplicity of this example, I already preloaded the account and the API key in my Postman. So we just have to send the request. So now we copy the hash and we paste it back into the input section and then everything is ready. I would like to know as fast as I can when the transaction went through. So in this case, I'm going to use our own webhooks in order to detect uh, the payments. So we know that the transaction went through. So I'm going to create a payment webhook. I'm going to grab the address I copy from CC Vault. And I'm going to paste it here and then generate the webhook. Here I'm saying that I want to get notified in this callback URL as soon as the payment is detected in the address. So now let's run it and generate the transaction. Let's copy the transaction and submit it to the blockchain. For that, we're also going to use our own API. So let's copy, paste it and submit it. If you want to know more about how the webhooks work, just go to our documentation and there you will see plenty of examples of what payload you have to pass to the API to create the webhooks that suits your business case. And there we go. Here we have the transaction with the payment. Let's copy the hash 
and look at it into Cardano scan. And it seems like Cardano scan hasn't processed the transaction yet. So let's give it a few seconds. In the meantime, let me show you our doc. Here you can see different types of webhook. When they trigger, you can see the event payload. You can see the rules. This is a very powerful tool that you can use in order to get notifications when users interact with your apps. So let's give it a try again, and there it is. So here, you were able to see how we created a transaction that required the signature of two private keys, and it went through perfectly using our SDK. If you want to see an example where the address is created with two private keys, and both keys are needed in order to sign the transaction, just go to our repo, and here in the example folder, we have the two out of two. Also, you can read our documentation. And of course, if you have any doubt, just contact us and we will get back to you. In summary, we added multi sig capabilities to Cardano Wallet JS. We still need to work on improve how the multi sig transaction handles the fee. This is something that we will work in the future. Uh, we also have to explore NFT minting using multisig. We have seen so people in the community that are, are already trying to do it in order to reduce the amount of transactions in the network. And of course, we would like to receive uh, more feedback from the community uh, in order to keep improving our SDK. Thank you very much.